A man accused of sexually assaulting a woman on the bike path in Coventry Thursday morning is at the ACI tonight. I would assume reporter Kate Walsh has been working the story all day and learned this is in Gary Arnold Jr.'s first run in with the law. She joins us now from outside Kent County Courthouse where Arnold was arraigned on these new charges this morning. Kate. Well, Mike and Shannon, Coventry police asked that Gary Arnold Jr. be held on $10,000 surety bail, a bail he may have been able to post if he wasn't considered a two-time violator of his probation out of Superior Court. Because of that, he was ordered held without bail until his next court date. The Coventry Greenway is quite peaceful as it hugs the water near Coventry Town Hall. But for one 66-year-old woman walking the path Thursday morning, it was anything but that. While walking on that bike path. Uh, she said a male approached her walking the opposite direction and as he said hi to her, he uh, grabbed her breast as he walked by and then continued on. Coventry police say the woman then called 911 and with help from surveillance video in the area, police were able to track down a suspect matching the description she gave them. When he saw the police, he ran off. They chased him, apprehended him. That man was later identified as 30 year old Gary Arnold Jr. of Coventry. He admitted to being on the bike path to saying hi to people and that any uh, touching of the person was accidental. No plea was entered as he was arraigned on felony second degree sexual assault and obstruction of justice charges. But Eyewitness News learned this isn't Arnold's first arrest. In fact, in 2018, he was arrested on similar sexual assault charges in West Warwick. Most recently, just a few weeks ago on July 25th, he was arrested on a weapons charge among others. Arnold is due back in court on August 29th. If he is allowed to post bail at a later date, one condition of that is that he not have any contact with the alleged victim in this most recent case. Live in Warwick, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.